Maimon, Psychiatrist, Intercept Hawanda Gwen. Chapter 1. Marvel Universe. Today is Saturday, April 4, 2015, and the weather is clear. This is New York, which has been devastated by the Zetori civilization and rebuilt after the war, and the city seems to have been renovated. Next to Central Park in Manhattan, North Tower. The first floor identifies the psychiatrist's separate floor. There's a medical banquet in the evening, Sue, are you going? The future Supreme Mage, now the top surgeon, Stephen Strangle, asked directly to a young man who looked younger, but more handsome than him. Ha! The young man lay on the back chair, with his hands on his head, watched the TV on the wall and hit hatch, and then replied faintly. Not going. The young man's name was Su Yi. He crossed over about a year ago. And also awakened a system, called, 9 to 5 in the morning system. This system roughly means, as long as he goes to work every day to get off work, he will do something, and he will touch the fish if he has nothing to do, but he can't work overtime, he can sign in for the 10,000 world's reward after work every day. Close black lens bracket. This year, he checked in with a bunch of rewards. However, the vast majority of rewards are spicy chicken. For example, endless bottles of milk tea, endless packs of toilet paper, unlimited beer glasses, never stop egg picking, and so on. There is only one most hanging reward, that is, Phoenix Power Fragment. As the embodiment of life and emotion in the primordial universe, the power of the phoenix has the ultimate power of life and destruction at the same time. It also has the highest level of perception and intuition, which allows the owner to perceive everything. Even if what Su Yi possessed was fragments, he could sense the other party's emotions, mentality, thoughts, ideas, and so on. Even everything that has happened, is happening, and will happen. But that would require more fragments. And Su Yi has only signed into one so far. So for a better 9 to 5 in the morning, no overtime clock in. Su Yi became a psychologist through this ability. Later, he became the top psychologist in the United States. At the same time, he also became good friends with Stephen Strurange, the future supreme mage on the other side. Not only that. Bruce Banner, aka Hulk, was his client before. Okay. After rejection. Stephen Strand was depressed. But he knew that Su Yi was useless to persuade, and he had to go if he wanted to. Unless you say the conditions are tempting. And Su Yi looked at his watch, half past four in the afternoon. So he said to Stephen. In half an hour, I have to leave work. If you want to check in, you have to do it after work. The system will never allow any overtime. By five o'clock, you must leave this office. Therefore, Su Yi is very demanding about the time after work. Leave work at 5 p.m. Doors close within 5.01 p.m. Not a single point more. At this time, even if the office has the heart of the universe, he thinks it is fake. As for after hours, that time was freely arranged by Su Yi. Not going to the banquet is just that he simply doesn't want to go. It's all about all kinds of people boasting and boasting about each other, it's not interesting. Might as well go home and play games. Or find a place to see the beauty. Seeing that time is running out. Stephen Strand quickly thought about it, looked at Su Yi, who was watching TV, and said. Listen to me, this time is not only a banquet, but also an exchange meeting, and there will be not only doctors and mentors, but also tutor assistant teams and university teams. Well, that's well said. But Su Yi was still indifferent. What about the group? Can the group have a rotten incense? Looking at Su Yi, he still couldn't lift up. Stephen said again. I mean, there will be all kinds of college girls and assistants in various groups, and they should adore you. After speaking, Stephen raised an eyebrow at Su Yi. Well, so if you want to say that. Su Yi raised his wrist to look at the time on his watch. Then he picked up the empty, unwritten plan book and read it before replying. Then I seem to be quite free tonight. After speaking, Su Yi smiled. Stephen smiled in unison. After all, Stephen was still very humorous before the accident. As long as he is not undergoing surgery and in front of outsiders, he even likes to laugh. It was only after he became a supreme mage that he became only humorous. Come to think of it, he's only in his 20s, drives a Lamborghini, has a handsome appearance and technical reputation, and is certainly interested in good-looking women. And Su Yi is no exception. It's all men. What to pretend? 
after deciding on the itinerary. Stephen came alive, and he got up and poured himself a glass of water. Then looked at Su Yi's office, which was also the award-winning room. In Su Yi's small house, all kinds of luxurious decorations, furniture, and collectibles abound. If all of them are sold, the total value is estimated to be as high as 10 million meters. But none of these were bought by him, they were all sent by customers. So you can see it from that. Su Yi counseled this industry in his heart, how much energy and popularity does it have? This is also one of the reasons why Stephen admired Su Yi and befriended Su Yi. Not very old, but able to achieve results that others cannot look up to in their lifetime. Ahem, the same as him. Time down at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Su Yi silently said in his heart, sign in. Quote, punch in successfully and get rewards. Super Jumping Candy X10 Packs. Close black lens bracket. Get used to it. The next moment. With the door lock, clicking, Su Yi and Steven appeared outside the door together. Before taking the elevator to the underground garage. Steven looked back at the office door and then at the time on his watch. Have you always been so punctual? Of course. Su Yi glanced at him. Even if the earth is destroyed at half past four, I will try to leave work on time at five o'clock. Quote. Stephen raised an eyebrow. Then how do you live another half an hour? Jingle bell. At this time, as the elevator doors opened, Su Yi walked in and turned to look at Stephen. By my will to never leave early or be late. Whoosh. Whining. Whoosh. Accompanied by the roar of the engine. A black Lamborghini drove out of the underground garage of the North Tower. Then head straight to the destination of the banquet. The car is Stevens. As the world's top surgeon. And he is also a doctor in the United States. Buying a Lamborghini was simple for Stephen. As long as you are capable. Then you can earn rice gold in this free land. For better or worse. And Su Yi only did not drive his car. It is because people want a car when they don't have a car, but they are too lazy to drive when they have a car. Especially when Su Yi's current assets can buy any car in the world for mass production. I don't want to open it anymore. Lamborghini drove unimpeded all the way. Stephen held the steering wheel in his right hand, and said to Su Yi on the window with his left back. If your Ferrari doesn't drive again, the ash on the car will be thicker than pizza. And Su Yi wore sunglasses, his head lazily pillowed on the car chair and complained. First of all, my car is parked in a VIP location, and someone wipes it clean every day. Secondly, can you change your chair, it's too uncomfortable to sit. Let's be honest. Lamborghini's seats are just not that comfortable. But ergonomics are still qualified. It will make you feel very competitive. Faced with Su Yi's question, Stephen shook his head. No, I won't change it. Changing it is like riding a motorcycle car with a backseat rider and backseat pedals, or driving an F1 car with air conditioning. Well, look at Steven still understands sports cars. Because it is comfortable to sit, it is not called a sports car. In the eyes of sports car designers, performance determines everything, and can it be called a sports car without tossing the body? That's it. Steven drove in his Lamborghini with Sui whining. But suddenly. A breaking news rang out in the car's intelligent system. At 5.20 p.m. New York time, the Avengers are at war with unknown terrorist forces in the Corvia countries. Including Iron Man and Captain America. The war caused the Corvia country to become an island and continue to rise into the air, and it is now thousands of meters in the air. How should the Avengers respond to this crisis? How can they keep the property of the local population safe? Boy. The news began by naming two important and well-known figures. Then start asking questions. And is it still asking about property? What about life? Doesn't life ask? And isn't this plot the Age of Ultron of Avengers 2? That is, the Avengers are fighting in Sokovia. Then only Wanda's younger brother was quick. In the end, Wanda was left with a lot, forehead, it's not a big trauma, anyway, although it is not mentioned later. At this time. When Stephen heard the news, he shook his head helplessly and said. The world is so messy. I've even thought about how long I can do my surgical work. That's a good question. Su Yi calculated the time and said in a joking tone. Perhaps, it's less than this year. Stephen glanced at Su Yi after hearing this. Then it seems that your career as a psychologist will get better and better. 
It's true, after all, more and more people have PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder recently. Fark Squid. Tell Stephen about breaking the defense. The two didn't care about the content on the radio anymore. All the way to the banquet place. As for Sokovia's affairs, Suhi will definitely not interfere. He's going to dry chicken feathers. There is no benefit to take, and if you expose your strength, you will get into trouble. For Su Yi, he just needs to make sure he's doing well. At most, plus good friends. To quote a quote from Wudang Wang Yi, no matter how bad this world is, I can also protect myself and my family and friends. Quote. Others, as long as it's not the earth is gone. Leave him alone. Who decrees that if you have the power, you will save the world? Who? He is just an ordinary, somewhat peculiar psychiatrist. Well, add up to two hobbies, rotten, beautiful women. Fifteen minutes later, as Stephen parked the Lamborghini at the banquet door, handed the keys to the parking attendant, and then got out of the car with Su Yi. Everyone present recognized his Lamborghini at a glance. Then I saw the more handsome Su Yi also get down from the car. Everyone hurriedly gathered around and asked for warmth. There are greetings, there are photos taken, there are things you want to discuss, etc. and so on. Su Yi didn't like this environment. But in the crowd, with his excellent memory, he saw an impressive figure. She has a young and beautiful face and silky blonde hair. She followed a team. She is Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy. There are many versions of her, so Su Yi is not sure which Gwen she is. But no matter what, this Gwen Stacy is even more beautiful than in the anime. That face, figure, and skin are just like they came out of a 3D anime. Perfect modeling. And of course, Gwen was following the crowd at this time, watching Suyi and Steven. But when she found out, Suyi actually looked at her. Gwen stared, a little flustered and overwhelmed. And Suyi smiled at her in the air. Then he turned his head and Steven to deal with the surrounding crowd first, and then entered the banquet hall. The hall is resplendent in gold. Or to say that the decoration thief is good. Many people wear suits and talk to each other. Over here. No matter what doctor you are, you can be admired. As long as you have strength, as long as you have fame. For example, although Su Yi is a psychiatrist, he is also the first figure here. As long as you are awesome. You can be a livestock doctor. So when he and Stephen entered the hall. Immediately, someone greeted him twice. The two also responded with a smile. But Stephen whispered in Su Yi's ear. Well, I'm starting to hate this environment too. Let's grab two drinks and walk around. Su Yi nodded. That's exactly what he meant. What to talk about with these big old men. It's true to go around and wait for your sister and beautiful women to talk. So, Su Yi and Stephen picked up their champagne glasses from the banquet table. Then I took a few sips with a few famous people. Hi Su. How is everything? Quote. Su Yi. Very good, I have a good life every day. Quote. Su, I have a few clients here who need psychological counseling, I will push it to you. Su Yi, E.H., well, here's my business card, you can give them it, but you have to tell them that my client plan is scheduled for the end of the year. Quote. Su, as soon as you came, all beautiful women were attracted to you. Su Yi, then there is no way, blame me. Quote. After casual chat. Stephen and Su Yi reunite. How to say? Stephen asked, putting down his champagne glass. I think so. Su Yi looked at the beautiful women present, and he showed that he was interested in a person, so, act alone. Quote. Stephen nodded. We think the same, it's still the same. Quote. After saying that, the two dispersed on the spot. The old way refers to an afterthought. Going it alone means discovering your favorite type. And the two acted together, which shows that there is nothing they like present. So the two of them casually strolled around together and then enlightened. After separating from Stephen, Su Yi picked up a glass of champagne again, and at the same time swept it with spiritual power. He immediately knew Gwen's location. And, Gwen was still in the crowd and looked at herself from time to time. After knowing the location, Su Yi walked to a position 10 meters near Gwen with a wine glass and stopped. Then take some fruit or something and eat two bites as a person. There was a crowd between the two. But Gwen, who has been looking at Su Yi from time to time, will definitely be able to find him. And after discovering that there was no one around Su Yi. 
Gwen looked left and right, and no one stepped forward. So she took the wine glass, walked around the crowd and came to Su Yi, and said a little nervously. Hi, my name is Gwen Stacy. Seeing Gwen finally step forward. Su Yi raised his glass and touched her with a smile. You can call me Su Yi, or you can call me a psychiatrist. The first step to understanding is contact. Once you say hello and chat, it is convenient to get to know. So when Su Yi and Gwen chatted for a while, they found out. Su Yi said she was young. But Gwen explains that she was a high school student and worked as an assistant in a lab. Meantime, listen, it's also a drummer in a band called, Marie Janes. After hearing that Gwen was also interested in being a drummer in the band. Su Mu immediately realized which Gwen was. He knew two things instantly. One, this is Gwen the spider. It's the ghost spider in the black and white pink hood tights. 2. This world may have been affected by the multiverse, otherwise there should be no female spider in this normal universe he is in, it should be Peter Parker. Will there be two Spider-Men in this universe? Or is it just Spider-Man? Suyi thought for a moment within 0.1 seconds. Then draw conclusions. Nothing to hang. It doesn't matter if he has two Spider-Mons. Anyway, Spider-Woman Gwen is in front of you, just have her. The rest doesn't matter, it's not a beauty. Looking back now. No wonder. Suyi thought this Gwen was so beautiful at first sight. It turned out not to be Puppin Gwen. It's the golden legend Gwen. That's counting the time. This Gwen is also about to be bitten by a spider. It's almost the end of Avengers 2. It's within this month. Next. Suyi and Gwen chatted more and more happily. Gwen is a top student. I am also very curious about Su Yi's psychological counseling ability. So the topic of conversation is also this. Gwen, Su, so many people who have been counseled by you have come in great esteem after being counseled, how do they feel after being counseled? Quote. Su Yi, this can't be described in words, maybe you have to try it yourself, for your part, I can give you time to cut the cue for tutoring. Quote. Gwen, really? That's great. So how do you counsel them psychologically, and what is that feeling? Quote. Su Yi. Well, empathy, empathy, looking and hearing, and a little love. Gwen. Ha ha. Su, you're so funny. Quote. That's it. In laughter. Su Yi was happy to chat with the beauty for a long time. And Gwen was also impressed by Su Yi's knowledge. And said that I will definitely come when I have time. In the laughter of Su Yi and Gwen. At this time, the Sokovia country was already in the news and died in name only. Because the regiment of superheroes has already been fought. In the end, the superheroes won. But the price is. Sokovia exploded. There is no hair left. There were hundreds of residents killed and injured in the town. Including all inherent property to zero. Or the hair is gone. And these residents of Sokolja, oh no, what about refugees? And there is. Wanda's brother is gone. This is the moment. The crimson which Wanda fell limply on the ground, tears running down her cheeks, and her expression a little crushed. She couldn't believe that her brother had disappeared with Sokovia. You can't even bury it yourself. Not to mention a last look. At this time, all the superheroes were standing not far behind Wanda watching her. Everyone frowned slightly. Natasha was also a little uncomfortable. I'm sorry. At this time, Hawkeye walked up to Wanda's side and apologized. Your brother died to save me, and I feel very guilty. Wanda didn't look up or move. She said in a sad tone. Do you feel guilty, can my brother be resurrected? Suddenly, the scene became very quiet for a while. The feeling of losing a loved one must be uncomfortable. Snap. At this time, the good old man American team clapped his hands and stepped forward and said. Cheer up, Avengers. We have more to do. More difficult things are waiting for us. Team America finished speaking. Everyone nodded and sighed. And then they started to act separately. And Wanda shed tears in place until the end, before closing her eyes and wiping away her tears and leaving. Afterwards. After experiencing the insight program of Team America 2. That is, after the Washington incident, in which three aircraft carriers attacked each other and caused great damage to the city. S.H.I.E.L.D. has actually faded out of mainstream vision. In its place is the Avengers base solely owned by Tony Stark. And the logo was also replaced with a capital A logo in that circle. But this has nothing to do with Su Yi. 
Because after exchanging contact information with Gwen, Gwen was called away by the team. New York, Medical Banquet. After exchanging contact information with the happy Gwen, Su Yigang watched Gwen leave, waiting for Stephen again. Stephen came to Su Yi with a wine glass and looked at Gwen who was far away. She's an adult. I'm graduating from high school. Oh, then you don't have to go to jail. Middle finger. It's actually a joke. In the United States, each state has different rules for this thing. But basically after high school, there is no breaking the law. And the women here look mature. There are still very few girls like Gwen who look young and beautiful. That's why Stephen made this joke. But in fact, he was also praising Gwen for being beautiful and young. It's just another way to say it. Why, did you come back from shopping again? Su Yi looked at Stephen and asked. It's still the same. Stephen shook his head. It feels like Christine is the best future object. Quote. Christine, full name plus Palmer. She is also a surgical traumatologist and has a good relationship with Stephen. And in a realm where friends are above and lovers are not full. That's one step away. Su Yi nodded. Then take it early. Quote. Stephen thought for a while, sighed, turned his head and attacked Su Yi again. Then why are so many ladies looking for you, and why haven't I seen you bring one to your car? Like Su Yi drove a Ferrari before. The fiery red appearance of the body, coupled with Su Yi's handsome face and identity, made many girls want to get into his car. And get in the car and still don't understand. You can drive the car directly home and shoot. Stephen understood. As long as Su Yi wants, he can immediately become a playboy, just like Stark, beautiful can be. But Su Yi didn't bring any of them back. He didn't even drive the car behind him, just took his car. Stephen was still a little confused about this. Su Yi likes beautiful women, but none of them shoot, why? Could it be? At this time, through the power of the phoenix. Su Yi had already sensed Stephen's inner thoughts. He was wondering if he could do it. If you think one step further, your Lamborghini will sink into the sea tonight. Well, I was wrong. Stephen immediately begged for mercy and shook his head inside. I have to admire, Sue, your mental ability is really powerful. Joke. Do you understand the gold content of the power of the phoenix? The power of the phoenix in its heyday, not the fragments, can beat the five gods. And this ability has only two shortcomings. One is that fragments need to be collected, otherwise there will be an upper limit to the power. For example, Su Yi can only be regarded as a sub-father or heavenly father level now, but as long as he collects more phoenix fragments, he will be upgraded to the single universe level, or even the multiverse level, the super multiverse level, and so on. Two is that this ability has the self-will of the phoenix, so the ability holder will be affected to a greater or lesser extent. And Su Yi was also affected at first. It is a group that forces the phoenix to fly around in his spiritual world, annoying. And it's easy to get upset and run away. But fortunately, Su Yi gained another powerful ability in the future check-in. Open black lens bracket purification close black lens bracket. In simple terms, it erases any side effects. At first, Su Yi thought it was weak. But then I found out that it turned out to be the supreme ability. As long as you feel uncomfortable and disliked, you can be purified by this ability. And the residual will of this phoenix fragment was purified by this ability. At the same time, there are more abilities and props in the Marvel Universe with big side effects. Then this ability becomes even more practical. That's it. Wait until the banquet is almost over. Su Yi and Steven were ready to leave first. The two sat inside a black Lamborghini. Steven sent Su Yi back first. After the two chatted east and west in the car, Stephen finally understood why Su Yi didn't take the woman home. So, you only provoke, but don't take them home to applaud, because you don't really like them, but just to be in a good mood. Stephen understood, but not completely. He spread his hands with a question mark on his face. Why? What's the difference? Quote, of course there's a difference. Su Yi leaned on the chair and said lightly, I'm not an abusive son like Tony Stark. Quote, I like beautiful women, but I only fall for beautiful women I love. Love and like are you separated? Stephen drove the car and shook his head. I don't know much. Quote. Then just say so. Su Yi gave an example. Like is only one-sided, 
like you like this car of yours, but when you want to change the car you sell it and like the next one. But love is not, love is selfish, or is it like your car, if you love it very much, then even if you want to buy a second car, you will not sell this car. Now you understand, so to speak. Stephen understood on the spot. He is smart and not a fool. Faced with Su Yi's explanation, Stephen pondered for a moment and nodded earnestly in agreement. You're right, I understand a lot. Okay, sensible. Su Yi smiled, talking to smart people is simple. Realize quickly, no need to repeat the explanation. But the next moment, Stephen asked rhetorically. So, if you love all the cars you buy, does that mean you'll have a lot of cars? Words don't say anyone. The word does not leave people. Su Yi glanced at him and smiled. You found out. Stephen. At last. Stephen sent Su Yi back to the North Mansion. Get a good night's sleep. Stay safe. After the two said goodbye to each other. Stephen stepped on the accelerator. Lamborghini made a whining, sound and disappeared from his field of vision. And Su Yi's home is still in the building. Only this time it's not the same layer. It's the top layer. Yes, not just the penultimate office floor. And the top floor was also bought by Su Yi. Bite. The sound of an elevator arrives at the top floor of the building. Su Yi entered the room and took off his shoes. Then he waved his hand. The next moment, the suit on his body changed into a house clothes. Then he made a move, and a cup of milk tea appeared in his originally empty hand. Yes, you can never finish drinking. Walk to the floor to ceiling windows. Su Yi overlooks the night view of the entire Manhattan. Directly opposite him, about a few kilometers in a straight line, was the reconstructed Stark building. A large A logo on the building is very conspicuous. That's the Avengers logo. Yes. The north building where Su Yi is located is just north of Manhattan's Central Park. And the Stark building is just to the south. So the two buildings are separated by a Central Park several kilometers long. And the west side of Central Park. There is also an Osborne building. It's hard to say. It was almost time to move the Supreme Mage's temple to the east of Central Park. Don't ask why you think so. Because playing Mahjong 3 lacks one. Suck. After taking one last sip of milk tea. Su Yi threw the milk tea back into the space. Then stretched. Go back to your room and play games. Well, it's a little lonely, but this life is coming to an end. Then more people will be able to play games together. Late night on the first day. In the Avengers base. Wanda lay on the bed in the base room for a long time and could not sleep. Her original home, Sokovia, has been destroyed. Now there is only a big pit to go back. And for her combat power, the Avengers will definitely not give up the invitation. So it's still semi-compulsion. Otherwise, your pure transformation into a free man is something that Nick Fury and Captain America definitely don't want to see. So after Wanda joined the Avengers, she can only live here for the time being. Or get the funds to rent a house outside, but no matter where you rent, you will no longer feel at home. That night, Wanda fell asleep until she knew it. The next day, Wanda was still looking down. It doesn't matter who comes, including Natasha. On the third day, Vision tried to reason with Wanda. But Wanda was a question of where the truth was at this time, so she took the initiative to leave. That's it. Three days, four days, five days, one week. Wanda's expression still did not recover. And the scolding of anti-superheroes on the internet is getting louder. The crowd claims that superheroes will only cause more damage. This makes Wanda, who has nothing to do but watch the news, even more uncomfortable. What am I doing? What do I do? Future, the Avengers, is it still necessary? Half a month later, Wanda followed everyone on their first mission to search for and arrest a group of terrorist groups. Wanda went. At the same time, there are also Avengers members such as Team America, Hawkeye, Natasha, and Falcon. Time to afternoon. Towards the end of the mission. In order to save Team America, Wanda uses chaos magic but misses and throws an uncontrollable bomb into the air. And then blew up all the people on the next floor. The people there wept and cried, shouted, dead and wounded. Wanda instantly felt great remorse. Guilt filled her heart. It also made her even more desperate. She was so saddened to lose a family member, but now she made such a mistake, and more people died. The American team glanced at Wanda, and then quickly entered the building to save people. 
At this time, Wanda looked at her hands. A thought of not using any more power appeared in her heart. Ah, see Wanda's status. Natasha wanted to comfort Wanda first. Natasha, quick, save, quote. But a call from the American team told her to bypass Wanda first to rescue the people in the building. Afterwards, Wanda returns to the Avengers base in dismay. And another day or two after that. Not even a week Wanda got any better. She doesn't even say more than 10 words a day. Nothing more than answering what to do. Many days passed. The outcry against superheroes on the internet has become even louder. But there are also sane people who speak out. It's not that we don't need superheroes. It's that these superheroes have to be controlled by humans. Otherwise, our property safety will even be destroyed by superheroes. Face speech violence online. Wanda began to have symptoms similar to depression. And she bought clothes with only a hood. Any task to go out. Wanda now always wears a hood. But that's not going to work. One day, Tony Stark folded his arms and looked at Wanda's state and thought for a long time. Natasha came to Tony's side and watched Wanda's state speak out. She needs to change, otherwise this spirit and mentality will always collapse one day. Hawkeye, who came over, listened and agreed. Yes, if this continues, she may find a remote place to live alone, or even voluntarily leave the Avengers. They are all agents. You all know what it's like to have this state of mind. And Tony still held his arms in his arms. He thought about it and touched his chin. Then it dawned on me. That's right. The idea came out. Tony returned to the car and pulled out a business card. Then come to Wanda's seat, put the business card on the seat, and push it to Wanda. Okay, Miss Wanda Maximov. I pay a sum of money for free, you can go and talk to this person on the business card, just as a tourist distraction. I've been recommended by many people to find him before, I don't think I need it, but you need it. They all say he's the best psychiatrist in the world, and I think you can try it. Face the recommendation of Tony the Iron Man. Wanda looked up at the business card on her seat. Open black lens bracket ye su close black lens bracket. Address. New York, Manhattan, North Tower, XX floor. This business card is very high. It is a thin slice of wood that exudes a fragrance yet is tough. It is engraved with Su Yi's name and office address. But there is no business introduction on the business card. No contact details and so on. Why? The answer is simple. Because with Su Yi's popularity, there will be endless calls if he leaves the phone, so his call will only be given to the people who come to him. Then look at it and decide whether to give it or not. For example, if there is money and trouble, or it is beautiful, it will be given, and vice versa. Wanda looked at the address on the business card. Suddenly, the chaos magic in her body seemed to tell her. Go, go. So Wanda accepted the business card and nodded in agreement. I'll go, just for a few days. Phew. Hearing this, Tony left directly. But before he was ready to drive home, Natasha and Hawkeye chased after him and came to Tony's window and asked. What business card did you give her? Tony had just put on his sunglasses, so he reached out and pulled them down a little. Didn't I say, the business card of a top psychiatrist? I know him, I've met him, a man who is about as handsome as me, but not a friend. His reputation and reputation are so good that he looks like a liar. But there's no denying that I asked Friday to collect a little data. The result is that he is really powerful. The success rate of psychological counseling is as high as 99%, and the remaining 1% is that he does not want to be counseled and rushed out. As a, master, of, upper, society. Of course, Tony, Su Yi's fame, knows it, and the two have also seen it. But Su Yi didn't plan to get too familiar with Tony. A man is just a 9 to 5 matter. And Tony also thinks that Su Yi is too handsome, more handsome than him, this girl who goes out to play together must be soaked by Su Yi. So Tony didn't know Su Yi too well. Well, that's it. One has nothing to say. One thinks the other person is more handsome than himself. Neither of the last two intended to know each other. But Natasha didn't quite mean that. What? Natasha and Hawkeye looked at each other. Hawkeye didn't understand something, so he asked rhetorically. You asked a superhero with huge magical powers to receive psychological counseling from an ordinary person. In fact, it's not just Hawkeye who thinks so. Most people probably think the same after hearing it. 
It's like you're asking an anxious president to ask ordinary people what to do. But the reality is even more outrageous than that. Because Wanda is a witch. That's a problem on another level. But you let a normal psychologist counsel. Can this work? Natasha did not post an opinion. But she didn't think it would work. Mainly. She understands psychological counseling. After all, Natasha was mentally trained. She knew what the hell it was. The most important thing for counseling and counseling is to rely on me, not on psychologists. The doctor is just an assistant. If I can't get through it, it doesn't help. But, as soon as Tony wore sunglasses, no one loved them, and directly started the sports car engine. How do I know, I haven't tried it again. Good or not, at least it might be useful. Just give her a vacation, understand. After speaking, Tony stepped on the accelerator. The sports car whined and left. Only Natasha and Hawkeye were left in place. The two looked at each other. All right. That's it. The picture returns to the back building. In these ten days and a half month. Su Yi checked in on time every day, but it was all some garbage. For example, Crayon Shin Complete Comic Book. The Little Leather Whip of Queen Esther's. Open black lens bracket super delicious milk tea recipe close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket delicious egg fried rice x10 close black lens bracket. You see. Which is useful. How delicious can it be? What is the whip for? Well, in some senses, it is true that there are a few more that are somewhat useful, but not much. Meantime, Suyi also received some customers these days. But they were all tutored very simply. Yeah. Su Yi leaned comfortably on the recliner. He watched the news these days. The Avengers, like a plot, are being opposed by the citizens. Not outright against, though. Instead, he becolded the superheroes for being too free. Such a superhero is so free. Isn't it a mobile super demolition team? So the top of society and the state is ready to propose. Any action of superheroes must be notified and approved in advance. Of course. At the moment this is just a proposal. It's hard to say when it will be on the table. And Suyi remembers that this is the plot that will only appear in the Civil War of Team America 3. That's still some time away. It's time for the afternoon. Suyi finally welcomed a customer he was very satisfied with. Gwen. Oh no, maybe it's going to become Gwen the Spider. Ding. With the closing of the elevator doors. Gwen wore a jacket and hood and came to Suyi's office door. She looked at Su Yi's gate, still hesitating whether to enter. Her father was the commissioner of the New York Police Department. Su Yi's psychological counseling is very expensive, and although Gwen is not unaffordable, it is also very painful. But now that she has encountered a problem, is it really good not to find her father to find Su Yi? Or, can Su Yi really help her? Frankly, Gwen didn't know why she was here. She touched the wound that had been bitten by a radiation-infected spider. Logically. She should go to the hospital now. Then go and check your genes and body for problems. But she just felt like she should come here first. How to say it? Feel. Sixth sense. A woman's intuition. So now go in or leave. Gwen hesitated. Come in, Gwen. But while Gwen hesitated, Suyi's voice came from the door. Gwen, who was deep in thought, was taken aback. But I could only push open the door and said embarrassedly. Sue, how did you know I was coming? Su Yi didn't speak, and glanced at the camera at the door. Gwen suddenly covered her face in embarrassment. Sit down. Su Yi asked Gwen to sit down. Then he gave her a bottle of milk tea. He can never finish this thing in his space, so it is better to entertain female high school students. What is it? Gwen looked at the milk tea very curiously. Milk tea, sweet. Su Yi gestured to drink directly, you should like it. Quote. Gwen took the milk tea. Then open it and take a small bite. Hmm. In the moment of milk tea mouth. Her beautiful eyes lit up, as if stars appeared. Then took a large sip. Su Yi saw it and nodded in determination. He just observed the other party's personality, habits, way of speaking, and so on. This character is definitely Spider Gwen, right? Otherwise, ordinary Gwen is not this kind of personality, it should be calmer. But definitely not as lively as this Gwen. Only Gwen the spider becomes very lively, intelligent, and very house girl. It's like the female version of Peter Parker. Delicious. After a few sips of milk tea. 
Gwen gave it the highest rating, and the mood improved. Again, there is a physiology to this. Sweets can make the human body secrete dopamine, so it becomes happier. In this way, Suyi's psychological counseling effect will be better. Efficiency and props, you know. And wait until Gwen drinks the milk tea. Su Yikai crossed his fingers, pointed his thumbs together, and asked towards Gwen. I feel your anxiety and uneasiness in your eyes, your expression. It seems like something is bothering you, and it's happening to you. You're struggling with this and looking for a solution, oh no, it's about how to live a normal life, right? Quote. As soon as Su Yi finished speaking, Gwen was stunned. There was surprise and a little panic in her eyes. What kind of city government is there at her age, unless it is a little fresh meat acting facial paralysis, any mentality will appear on her face. Face Su Yi's words that hit the bullseye. Gwen seemed to be genuinely hurt and a little overwhelmed. She pinched her fingers, her beautiful eyes looked away, her pink lips pursed, and she didn't know how to answer. Su Yi knew from her expression that she was worried. So he leaned back in his chair. Then opened the drawer. A photo was taken out of it. Then push it to Gwen to see. Gwen took the photo and was immediately surprised. It turns out that the photo is a group photo of Su Yi and one of the superheroes, Hulk. Attention, it's the Hulk. And not Dr. Banner. The current Avengers 2 period. The citizens of the United States know that there is a Green Hulk among the superheroes. And he has a short temper. Not long ago, he even fought with Iron Man and burst a building. And now it seems to be gone. But from the overall view of the photo, the Hulk recognizes Su Yi very much. This is a superhero recognition. You should know him. So what I want to tell you is that the psychologist will never tell a third person any news from a client. Your news, only you know and I know. And no matter what, the news will not come out from me. Su Yi's voice came from behind the photo. Gwen raised her eyes and looked at Su Yi, after biting her lip. She finally put down the photo and started talking. I have a friend. She suddenly has a little ability, her body becomes very flexible, and her strength becomes greater. Should she go for a physical examination? Will she be studied? Quote. Or should she go do good? Wouldn't that put too much emphasis on justice? Quote. So she doesn't know what to do now, or then what? Hear this, friend, of Gwen. Su Yi almost didn't hold back his laughter, but he still pretended not to know. Because Gwen's words only reveal two words between the lines. Confused. But Gwen was a little different. You, friends are confused, confused about the way ahead. Quote. It's like your friend suddenly picks up a sum of money, suddenly gaining ability, but she is hesitating whether to use it, whether it can be used, and how to use it. Speaking of which. Gwen quickly nodded in agreement, indicating that he was right. And Su Yi also nodded to indicate that there was no problem. Then take out a word, a pen, write and draw. A dozen seconds later. Su Yi showed the paper to Gwen. The top of the paper is like a children's fairy tale. But the content is a person swinging in a busy city. So my advice is. Let your friend take the money and go home to sleep. When you sleep until you find that the money is really yours and no one asks you for it, you are thinking about how and where to use this money. Picking up money, suddenly gaining ability, is a phased problem, not a decisive one. Or you can use the scraps of this money to see the world first, and then decide after reading it, so that even if the money is recovered, you can make up for it. Words don't mention ability. Every word is ability. That's the beauty of examples. Gwen was already smart, and she was even smarter when she had the ability. So she could understand that what Su Yi was talking about was the same in terms of suddenly gaining ability. That's why so many old sayings are still relevant in modern times. Because it's essentially right. Gwen gradually realized. It turns out, suddenly get money, ability, words. The best solution is to live at home first. When it is stable, I am thinking about how to use it. And Su Yi thought about it, and told Gwen Dao with a smile. I've heard a song with lyrics that fit the scene first. What lyrics? Gwen was curious. If one day I become rich, my first choice is not to travel the world, but to lie on the largest and softest sofa in the world, eat and sleep and eat for a year. Finish this lyric. Su Yi and Gwen both laughed, and laughed happily. Gwen reached out to straighten the blonde hair scattered around her ears. Then said very approvingly. Then I'll tell my friend. 
Tell her that the best psychiatrist in the world suggested that she be a house girl first, eat and sleep, and become a little fat pig first. I didn't say that. Su Yi leaned on the chair, reached out and drank his milk tea while saying, it's the lyrics that say so. Quote. I don't care, anyway, the meaning is the same. Gwen tilted her head, just as she was about to say something. Tick bell. Her cell phone rang. Gwen picked up the collar on the mobile phone, looked at the time again, and immediately apologized to Su Yi. Sorry, I forgot the band rehearsal time. My friends are waiting for me, I have to hurry. Su Yi nodded. Go quickly, don't let your friends wait too long for you, otherwise it's rude. Gwen quickly picked up her cyan packet, and then took the unfinished milk tea on the table and left. But the moment the door closed, Gwen turned around and revealed a head, and said with his left eye to Su Yi wink, wink. Thank you, Mr. Su Yi, for helping me, friends a big favor. Quote. No thanks, let's go. Thanks. The last word of thanks is only a lingering voice. Because Gwen had already run into the elevator. As for whether she gave money, it was a matter of whether she gave money. Isn't it beautiful to give it or not, but if she doesn't give money, she has to make it up again in person. After sending off Gwen, Su Yi looked at the time and was ready to leave work. When the time came to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Su Yi closed the office door, turned around and left. Clock in. Su Yi thought silently in his heart. Open black lens bracket punch success. Close black lens bracket. Obtained. True vision guard x3. True sight guard. True vision guard. After activating the guard, within a certain range, any line of sight, detection, perception, spirit, including electronic devices outside the range will be invalid, unless it enters the range. Close black lens bracket. Looked at the prop introduction. Su Yi immediately understood what kind of prop this was. True eye on the rune continent. Yes, it's a good thing. Su Yi nodded in satisfaction. There are three in total. Go back to the office and plug one in the home, and you don't have to worry about any detection from the outside. Otherwise, it's like a camera. The world's cameras Jarvis, Ultron, and Vision can be viewed casually. Can you have peace of mind if you have one at home? Isn't that live? Time comes to the evening. In the Avengers base. Wanda looked at the business card Tony gave her in deep thought. She took her phone and searched for the address. It turned out to be in the most lush Manhattan area of New York. Frankly. This kind of place Wanda doesn't want to go to now. Now there are many scoldings against her on the internet. Her mistake in order to save the American team indirectly killed more people than the mission had to save. So the internet is also insulting Wanda. Call her an evil witch. Scolding her as seven, seven, eight, and so on and so forth. This leads Wanda to now have two ideas. One is no longer using any ability. Two is to no longer go to places with many people. She just wants to find a place with few people to live alone, and that's enough. It's just. Wanda's heart also wants to live a normal life. Go out normally. Normal play. Normal happiness. For these. That's okay, she'll have to try. And the way to try it is. Wanda lowered her head and picked up the wooden business card. Then put it in your pocket and get up to get ready for tomorrow's clothes. A plain blue jeans. A gray, plus size sweatshirt with a hood. So that she would not walk down the road and be immediately recognized as the Scarlet Witch. It also saves a lot of trouble. Meanwhile, in the brand new Stark building. Tony Stark sat in his chair and looked at the citizens' wishes collected on Friday, and he had a headache. First of all, Jarvis is near. It became the illusion of now. Again, Friday's data and future projections are very serious. This is the moment. Nearly half of the voices on the internet about superheroes are not positive. And among those who support superheroes. Most of them are fans of a certain hero, not the definition of superhero. Like Iron Man, like Captain America. As for those negative messages. It's either swearing or opposing, that's all. Phew. Tony sighed. He held his arms with one hand and supported his forehead with the other. Sir, according to calculations, if you want to calm the opposition of society, there are two most effective ways. Tony held his forehead without moving, which two. Quote. One is for the Avengers to solve a crisis of extinction, letting society know that only superheroes are the last insurance. 
Two is that the Avengers are hidden. According to the speed of network information iteration, the voice of discussion will decrease by 70% after about one year, and it will be close to the optimal value after three years. Or completely expose the internal activities of the Avengers in order to reassure the whole society. Face such an answer. Tony shook helplessly. Saying is not saying. Friday is artificial intelligence. It calculates that the answer is right, it really is the answer. But both answers are impossible. It is impossible to do it in a short period of time, at least in a short period of time. The Avengers finally assembled. And a disaster has just been organized. Although this disaster has a major relationship with Tony, saving the world is to be stigmatized. Is it worth it for them to work so hard and desperately? Tony looked at a piece of equipment on the pedestal. This is the panel of neural networks and intelligent control. It was he who made it together with Banner. But now Banner is gone. Originally, Tony wanted to build a steel group and intelligent network hub to protect the planet. But now, he was a little disheartened. Because Tony doesn't think it's worth it anymore. The best time is gone. Tony also knew he had no chance. This is the moment. Tony clenched a fist with one hand, pressed it to his mouth, and thought all night. Friday. Sir. Maybe your second choice is right. Sir, but this choice will make the Avengers bound by the United Nations, and Captain America will not agree to this choice. That's his business, if there is a problem, he will solve it, and I will do my thing. Sir. Okay, bring up the Warframe panel and let's start working on the new Warframe. Okay, sir. Following. Plug the True Vision guard behind the office. Su Yi's morning day was spent in the fish. He basically spends his morning fishing time. No one came to see a psychologist at this point. And he doesn't like to go to work at this point. In time. People who want to see the psychology come at noon or afternoon. So Suyi spent his morning playing games, reading books, watching news, playing mobile phones and so on. However, when Stephen did not have surgery, he would come to chat with Suyi. He usually came in the morning to make an appointment for Suyi's time in the evening. Then wait until 5 p.m. The door closed for the two. Just go out and have fun. And in general, in the afternoon, there are people, and when no one is there, they touch the fish. Forehead, that's it. Anyway, Suyi was quite happy. More money, light life, trouble saving, and high pressure. You can also check in every day and wait to get stronger. Isn't this cool crooked? It's noon. Suyi was leaning on the recliner brushing TikTok. No way. There are too many. Bodhisattvas, above. Various coolly dressed, Bodhisattvas, put benefits on it. There are also all kinds of funny and hilarious videos. It's hard for Suyi not to love. Of course, he only brushes when he is alone. Don't ask, asking is that people brush off the forced frame and lose face. Huh. At this time, Suyi, who was brushing, sat up. A golden glint flashed in his eyes. Wanda. Yes. Suyi sensed a unit with powerful abilities and powerful spirits approaching his building. Then he sensed it and found out. Isn't this a chaotic force? And the person with the power of chaos is Wanda, that is, Scarlet Witch. That's it. Under Suyi's induction, Wanda crossed the zebra crossing, walked through the street, and entered the building where she was. Then wait for someone else to enter the elevator. She waited for another empty elevator before coming up. Finally arrive at your own door. Suyi thought about it, nodded and said. Come in. Hear the sound. Wanda's hand on the doorknob was stunned. Then he opened the door and walked in. After she came in, Suyi looked at Wanda first. Blue jeans, white hooded sweatshirt, actually wearing a hood when he came in. And kept his head down, his face not facing himself. Suyi smiled, or pushed up a milk tea and said. Come to me, no matter who you are, I won't be surprised. After speaking, Suyi gestured to the photo frame of him and Hulk who had not yet been returned on the seat. Wanda turned to look. After discovering the photo of Suyi and Hulk, she was slightly surprised. Because now that the Hulk is gone, the Avengers can't find it, and Tony used Friday to rummage through the world's cameras and didn't see it. As a result, I found someone who knew Hulk and could take photos in the Hulk state. The Hulk's combat power Wanda knows. Even if you don't mention the invasion of the Chitari civilization. 
Just the destruction of the city caused by her magic to make the Hulk go berserk makes Wanda arrive. Well, now think about it. Wanda did this herself. But after watching the photo of Suyi and Hulk, it did make Wanda let down a lot of her guard. Hello, I'm Wanda Maximov. My name is Suyi. With a self-introduction, Wanda raised her head and reached out to pull down her hood. But the moment she looked up at Suyi, Wanda was stunned. She looked at Suyi's face. First of all, he was not stunned because Su Yi was too handsome. It was in the moment he saw Su Yi's face. Wanda actually felt that the man in front of her made him very kind. There is a kind of family. No, friends and relatives. It's not right, it seems to be a feeling of swearing. It's like a partner who is on the same path and has important bonds. Why is that? Miss Witch. Su Yi also reminded a little puzzled. Ah. Su Yi's words brought Wanda back to her senses. Only then did she explain. Doctor, the moment I saw you, I seemed to see a childhood companion I hadn't seen for years. Coincidentally, when Su Yi heard this, he raised his eyebrows and said, I also felt this way just now. Quote. Really. Wanda was surprised. Really. Su Yi confirmed. This statement is true and not false. The moment he saw Wanda, Su Yi really had a sense of intimacy but nowhere near as strong as Wanda saw herself. Why is that? Su Yi was also thinking. Or examples. Is there anything like Wanda that is similar to herself, and is there anything completely different from herself? Su Yi thought quickly for a moment. Two answers are derived. Ability, gender. And gender can't call intimacy. So is the ability. That's right. Su Yi suddenly reacted. Wanda has the power of chaos, and he has the power of the phoenix. Although these two abilities are two things, they are both among the three oldest powers in the Marvel Universe. That is, both abilities are familiar with each other. Even consciously, they know each other. And Su Yi's ability has no will, so he was cordial just now, but not strong. But Wanda will feel strongly intimate. So it is. The power of the Phoenix and the Force of Chaos. They are all among the oldest abilities in the universe. So Wanda is very kind when she looks at Su Yi now. It seems to be a fate. Wanda said with a smile. I think so. Su Yi also smiled. It's a fun feeling. Then Wanda let down all her guard. She reached out and took the milk tea that Su Yi pushed over and took a sip. Then she was the same as Gwen before her. Wanda's charismatic eyes lit up. Looking at the appearance of milk tea, I became curious. It's so delicious, the first time I've had such a delicious drink, what is it? Milk, tea. Su Yi explains, a drink made by mixing tea bags with seasonings. Quote. Oh, Wanda understood. Then took a few more sips with rosy lips into the straw. Then savor a few times. Swallow again. Very delicious. Wanda, like Gwen, also gave milk tea a good evaluation. That's it. Neither of them had a serious conversation at first. Because of his sudden favorable impression of Su Yi, Wanda suddenly forgot the purpose of his coming, and chatted with Su Yi like this. Su Yi forgot that he hadn't forgotten, but he was very willing to chat with big magnesium and aluminum. Among past customers, male customers are able to solve quickly and then send away, paying attention to inefficiency. And the female customer of bleaching is different. From food to movies, from lingerie to cosmetics, from travel to appointments and more. In short, Su Yi is quite willing to chat with beautiful female customers. Idle is idle anyway. Nothing again. Dry. So Wanda and Su Yi started talking from milk tea. Then he talked about the furniture and collections in Su Yi's office. Then after knowing that these were actually sent by customers. Wanda was surprised. This is all sent by the customer. So how much do they like Su Yi's ability? Followed by. Wanda and Su Yi left their seats. Then they walked up to an antique cash register and chatted. This is the cash register. Wanda stretched out her hand and wanted to touch it, but stopped and looked at Su Yi, can I touch it? Quote. Of course. Su Yi signaled that there was no problem, anyway, his magic could make these brand new. This is a cash register where 95% of the parts are made of silver. But the history is not very long, it seems to be only a hundred years. And Wanda touched the surface of the cash register. It is said to be a work of art because its surface is full of secret patterns printed by hand. So it looks very advanced overall. It's beautiful. 
Wanda touched it and withdrew her hand. Then I looked at the other artworks. Such as metal vases, murals, silver tableware, small sculptures and so on. Wanda knew at a glance that all of this should be worth a lot. So she didn't touch it again. Next. After chatting about the collection in the office. The two went back to their chairs and talked about other things. Wanda reminisces about her hometown and says she doesn't like being a superhero and is only semi-forced to join. She also said she had been having a hard time lately. And explained to Suyi that she didn't mean it, she couldn't control the power of the bomb to save people, and it became a mistake. Then there's her opinion on the web. Wanda said she would like to move to a small town with no people if she could. So that there is less pressure. That's it. Wanda regarded Su Yi as the object of her confiding. Over the course of an entire afternoon. Wanda said, Su Yi listened, then made suggestions and agreed. And so they spent the whole afternoon. A whole cup of milk tea was gradually drunk by Wanda. But I know everything. When a girl tells you some secrets and tells you everything. That's the beginning of her dependence on you. And will gradually trust you. Then the subsequent development depends on the ideas and operations of the person being confided in. And Su Yi. Certainly not a good person. Suck, suck. After being sucked up by Wanda at the last point. She was surprised to find that she had actually chatted with Su Yi for so long. Sorry, it seems like I'm saying. Wanda was suddenly a little ashamed and embarrassed. After all, it took up so much time. Su Yi shook his head and said that it was okay. Listening is also a kind of psychological counseling. Quote. Hear the four words of psychological counseling. Wanda remembered that she had come for counseling. She added. Forgot to say, it was Mr. Tony Stark who gave me a business card and suggested that I come. Tony. Su Yi was stunned, and then smiled. Then it seems that I still have to thank him. Quote. Thanks. Wanda wondered. Su Yi looked at the time, 4.58 p.m., and then he said while standing up. Thank you for introducing me to a mature and beautiful female client. It made me increase my business again and feel happy again. Let's go, it's tea time, let's change a coffee shop or have sweetness and a place with good scenery and talk slowly. After speaking, Su Yi pushed away the chair and walked out, opening the door for Wanda. And Wanda blushed a little shyly after hearing Su Yi's provocative words, but of course she is not too shy with a mature royal sister. So Wanda glanced at Su Yi with a smile in her eyes. You make me a little regret about going out dressed like this. Then she walked past him and went out the door. And Su Yi also closed the door, opened it silently in his heart, and left with Wanda. Clock in. Punch success. Obtain. SpongeBob SquarePants Complete Comics. Nima, he only watched a little last time the crayon was new. This time SpongeBob SquarePants again. Where can I see this end? Forget it, it's okay to watch slowly. Just forget it is something to pass the time in case you have to go to jail later. Then, out the doorway of the building behind the door. Wanda visibly tensed up. Then I chose to bring a hood. Su Yi looked back, if she hadn't driven all the time, after thinking about it, she took her to the underground garage to sit on the Ferrari. Then after closing the window, you can't see from outside. However, you can look out from the inside. Thanks, your car looks good. After Wanda got into the car, sure enough, she took off her hood again. And Su Yi looked at Wanda's eyes and smiled. No thanks, because I like red. Quote. Love the red color. Scarlet Witch. Red energy. Wanda listened to it, and Mei Mei was much happier. It is as if the previous negative energy has been eliminated at this time. The mood is also much better. Yet. Wanda only realized when she looked around Ferrari. The Ferrari supercar is just too conspicuous. Supercars, fiery phoenix-like paint, roaring low sounds. The elements are mixed together. Let everyone look at Ferrari here. Then when Wanda gets off the car, if it is captured and transmitted to the internet. Wouldn't it be more frustrating? Through the power of the phoenix. Su Yi felt the worry in the co-pilot's heart. He said while holding the steering wheel in one hand and looking ahead as he drove. Don't worry. Let's go to the cafe and dessert hall. It's remote, there are fewer people, no one takes pictures with their phones, it's quiet, and the atmosphere is good. That's why I like it there. Su Yi said so. Sure enough, Wanda was much relieved. That's good. However, 
she turned her head to look at Su Yi's side face. What Wanda really didn't expect. Su Yi is actually so intimate, knowledgeable and comfortable. It's like starting when Wanda walks in the door. Su Yi knew where she had suffering. It was before. And now too. How to say this? The evaluation given by Wanda is that she is very happy and comfortable with Su Yi. That's it. Su Yi drove his Ferrari and took the Scarlet Witch Wanda to a nice cafe dessert hall. And with Ferrari gone, a figure stopped from the crowd on the street. Then whispered into the headset. Tony, I need you to give me the destination address of the Ferrari here. Inside the Stark building on the other side. Tony looked at the monitor that Friday called up and couldn't understand. Natasha, I introduced the psychiatrist to Wanda. Now that you're here watching, what will I think if I'm discovered? Who goes and Wanda explains. Quote. But essentially, Tony couldn't understand Natasha's behavior. No, Tony, I'm not watching, just observing. Natasha on the street walked to the side of the road. Then said as he hurried to the address Tony gave. Wanda has been in a bad state of mind lately. I was trained as an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. and knew that she was most vulnerable to demagoguery at this time. And her contact person is a psychologist, or the most powerful psychologist. So after a few days of discussion, I thought let me observe Wanda's state. Inside the Stark building, Tony watched where Natasha moved and shook his head helplessly. Whatever you want, but don't involve me if you find out. That's it. The call between the two hung up. Although Tony said so, he still asked Friday to analyze Su Yi's situation. Friday, analyze this person. Okay, sir. Of course, Tony just looked to see if Su Yi had done anything bad. That's it. Friday analyzed Su Yi's path of action. And whether he has done anything illegal. After about a few seconds. Friday's cold voice came out. Sir, the target has not committed any illegal incidents, and among all his friends, Dr. Bruce Banner is also included. What? Tony's originally lowered head instantly lifted. He looked at the display panel in the air. Show me the data you collected. Tony didn't expect it either. The person he casually introduced actually knew Banner. And Banner is also important to Tony, and he is also worried. Although Vision is Tony's failure. But Banner has been helping him along the way. So Tony was grateful to Banner. He is even more worried about Banner's disappearance now. Sir, Dr. Banner met Mr. Suyi about a year ago. Scan based on past records. Dr. Banner has approached Mr. Suyi many times for psychological help. And after receiving help, Dr. Banner was still able to gradually calm down even after transformation, and then take a photo with Mr. Su Yi. So Dr. Banner's usual calmness is likely to be the credit of Mr. Su Yi. The two have a very cordial relationship. After reading the information compiled on Friday, Tony Stark was even more curious about Su Yi. It turns out that there is a person who is so close to the Avengers. And he's still a good friend of Banner's. No. Judging by the therapeutic effect of Banner. Banner probably thinks of him as a buddy. Tony thought with one hand with his chin down, then turned around and nodded and said. Maybe I need to get to know the best psychiatrist in the whole of America. Need an appointment, sir. Friday replied, but maybe you need to go in person first, because Dr. Suyi does not accept any kind of telephone or online appointments. Quote. Quote comma question mark quote. Tony raised his eyebrows, feeling that Su Yi was a little bowy. It turns out that in the United States, there are actually people who are taller than my B. Give me time to meet him. Comma dot. The other side. After driving for about 20 minutes. Su Yi's Ferrari finally drove to their destination. A cafe dessert hall by the sea behind the woods. After coming here. Because Su Yi was a quality person, he parked his car in a place relatively peripheral from the cafe. No way. Ferrari's engine sounds super nice, but it's also a bit loud. But this is rude for the cafe. Of course, these details were also seen by Wanda. In her heart, she had another evaluation of Su Yi. Mutual respect for understanding. But Wanda got out of the car. Then after following Su Yi into the cafe, she regretted it a little. Wait until Su Yi takes her to a corner by the sea and sits down. And after ordering two cups of coffee and some dessert, Wanda leaned into Su Yi's ear and said softly, Dressing like this is the decision I regret the most today. Truly. Jeans, gray sweatshirt, go to the cafe.
This is indeed a bit low in the United States. But fortunately, the United States is relatively free. And no one will say anything to you. And this cafe is remote and high class. The people inside are also relatively much better. However, Suyi also gave Wanda a suggestion. Your magic should be able to change the structure of matter, thus changing the clothes on your body directly into a suit. Can it still be like this? But Wanda thought for a moment and shook her head and said, but I can't do it now. Quote. It's okay, I'm sure you can do it later. Su Yi smiled, and then gave a few more examples. This world has long been not the world of science. I've also heard that the mages at Karma Taj can change people's perceptions of themselves. So that even if you go out and meet someone you know, he may not be able to notice that it is you. But I don't know if it's spiritual magic or cognitive magic. Maybe Miss Witch can try. Finish speaking. Su Yi also listed several daily magic. Such as cleaning up garbage with magic. Magic to give clothes a new look. Fix broken homes with magic and so on and so forth. Some of these magics Su Yi knew, of course, but some he had never seen before. Fortunately, they all said it to Wanda. And after hearing Su Yi's words, Wanda really shined. Because Su Yi's words brought him a whole new understanding of magic. It turns out that magic doesn't have to be used to destroy. You can even change a set of clothes for yourself. Even cleaning and more. So if that's the case. Magic is also fantastic, right? Time. Wanda has a lot of ideas and experiments with her magic again. And she decided to try it when she went back in the evening. Meanwhile. In the distance, Natasha is watching Suyi and Wanda with a telescope. Then use the lip talk device to translate the content of the conversation between the two. This kind of supervision, the work of observation was unknown to Natasha how many times she had done it. Skilled very. However, after watching the conversation between Su Yi and Wanda for a while, Natasha also let go of her caution towards Su Yi. Because Natasha saw it, Su Yi wasn't just chatting with Wanda for afternoon tea. It's coaching Wanda's mind through everyday behavior. Natasha can see this. Magic, fun, afternoon tea. Natasha could see it in the signs and Wanda's smile. Wanda's mindset is indeed getting better. And it's getting better fast. After watching for a while, Natasha nodded in agreement. The most powerful psychiatrist in the United States, not bad. Of course, Su Yi herself was countless times higher than what she had seen. In the cafe, wait until everything ordered by both of them is served. Su Yi looked around by chatting with Wanda. His seemingly casual gaze passed through Natasha's eyes as if they were looking at each other. But it seems to be just skipped. In the distance, Natasha had a message in her heart. It's as if you're suddenly stared at while stealth into a women's bathhouse. Of course you won't be invisible. There is no women's bathhouse in reality. But the meaning is this. Accident. Natasha looked at Suyi seriously through the telescope. The two parties are so far apart that they should not be detected. And after seeing Wanda amused by Suyi's humorous words, Natasha just let go of her heart. It was an accident. Not really. It's just that Suyi doesn't want to expose himself to superpowers too early in front of superheroes. At least wait until one of Gwen and Wanda arrives. Ahem, this does not count as kidnapping. Coffee dessert time follows. Suyi and Wanda had a pleasant chat. How enjoyable is it? Wanda was in high mood because she said too much, plus after being happy. Her face turned red. This was only suddenly reflected after Wanda touched her face. Is your face so hot? Wanda touched her face and wondered if she was too proactive and enthusiastic. Because in front of Su Yi, many topics were taken out by Wanda on his own initiative. For example, ask Su Yi what kind of life he likes. Su Yi replied, I like to be happy and happy and I swing it safely, leisure life. Quote. This is Su Yi's inner words. He really likes the life of eating and sleeping every day, sleeping and playing, and continuing to eat and sleep after playing. Isn't that cool? And Wanda replied happily after hearing it. We are the same. I also like this kind of life you said very much. This is the future I dreamed of. After saying this sentence, Wanda's face turned even redder. She didn't even know that she was shy and red when she was talking about the future of the two in front of Su Yi. Or is it just plain excitement red? Forget it, don't care. Red is red. In the cafe though, 
Because Wanda just said too loudly. Everyone around looked over. Su Yi smiled at them to apologize. The people around turned around. Wanda looked back. Then apologized to Su Yi in a low voice. Sorry, I'm so excited. It's okay. Su Yi took a cup of coffee and drank it and said. Just speak your heart's thoughts. Too many introverted autistic people, even depressed people, just can't stretch their hearts. Chat is a channel that opens the heart. Happiness is the medicine of the heart that cures all diseases. Wanda nodded in agreement. She has more and more identification with Su Yi, as well as a sense of intimacy. Simply put, I like it more and more. Talked for a long time. Wanda lowered her head and took a sip of coffee. Then tasted it, and after seeing that there was no one around, he whispered to Su Yi. I don't think the coffee here is as good as your milk tea. Hearing this, Su Yi smiled. Coffee is coffee, milk tea is milk tea. It has the same place in both places, probably only with caffeine. But essentially two things. Just look at which one you like to drink. However, Su Yi thought about it and suddenly proposed. Do you want to mix milk tea into coffee and try it? Quote exclamation mark question mark quote. Wanda's eyes widened. Is it okay? Quote. I haven't tried it anyway. Su Yi smiled and said, but you can give it a try. Quote. But I'm done with milk tea. But I haven't finished drinking it yet. As Su Yi put his milk tea up. Wanda doesn't care where this milk tea came from. She looked left and right first. After confirming that no one is paying attention here. Wanda took Su Yi's milk tea and poured it into her remaining half of the coffee cup. Then immediately put the milk tea back. He picked up the spoon again and stirred it in the coffee. Su Yi took back the milk tea. Then looked at her cup with Wanda. Soon. Wanda put down the stirred spoon. Then he picked up the cup and tasted it. Hmm. After tasting it, Wanda first made a string of nasal sounds. Then pursed his mouth and said. It's a little sweet inside the bitter. Then go to the throat and lick it again. Quote comma question mark quote. Su Yi was stunned. Isn't this the domestic raw coconut latte? You'll know if you taste it. Seeing Su Yi's face with a question mark. Wanda put the cup in Su Yi's hand and motioned for him to taste it too. And don't care yet that both of them drink this cup. This cup. No problem, you can try it. Wanda held Su Yi's hand and quickly let Su Yi drink. The people didn't care anymore. Su Yi picked up the cup and tasted it. Hmm. He also made a string of nasal sounds, then nodded in agreement. It's like coffee with sugar water, bitter and sweet, but mainly bitter. Right. Wanda blinked happily. Then take back your cup and drink it. Su Yi smiled after seeing it. Let's be honest. Wanda's performance is to completely let down her guard. If it's an average girl. Su Yi took it to the bar to drink at this time. Then the two were able to go home and shoot. But Wanda can't be in a hurry. With today's development, everything that should come will come. That's it. The two drank coffee and dessert from 5.30 p.m. and chatted until 8 p.m. And Wanda came over from the afternoon. That is, the two have been together for at least six hours today. Also chatted for more than six hours. And Su Yi saw that it was late at night outside, and it was almost today, and it was time to go home to play games. He called the waiter to settle the bill and gave a tip. Then stood up and said to Wanda. Let's go, Miss Witch, the fiery red car should send a fiery beautiful woman home. Wanda stood up and looked at her flat shoes. Then he raised his head and sighed again. Sue, you made me regret for the third time that I came out in this dress today. It doesn't matter. Su Yi spread out his hands, because I can see your inner beauty. Quote. After Wanda's, oh. She suddenly said that she had been hit by an arrow in the heart. And that arrow was still shot by Su Yi. New York City is lit up at night. The lights in the building are on, and they are very bright, as if the electricity bill does not cost money. But some of the lights on the road are on, some are not, and the search is fatal. This reflects capital and citizens. And the fiery red Ferrari drove on the road, which relied on Su Yi's, step up your game. Wanda sat in the co-pilot and looked out the window. She opened the window a little and let the breeze blow down her cheeks. I don't know how. Wanda kind of doesn't want to go back to the Avengers base. And as long as you don't go there. The car can go anywhere. As long as you don't go home. Su Yi, who was driving, felt Wanda's psychology. Her mentality is a bit like a rebellious girl. 
But the main problem is the impact on her as she begins to reject the Avengers. You think. Here in Suyi, chat happily, eat, drink and touch fish. And back to the base, either in the face of verbal violence on the internet, or the oppression when the Avengers dispatched missions. Now the Avengers have changed. In the past, when superheroes went out on missions, the citizens cheered. But now, Wanda could clearly sense that many people's eyes were wrong. It made her feel bad. And she felt this mood Suyi completely at this time. Because Wanda's emotions are strong now. Suyi thought about it and asked while driving. I thought there was a 190 meter high Ferris wheel in New York that overlooked the whole of New York, and it was along the way, do you want to see it? In fact, it is not a smooth road, and you have to turn more. But when Wanda heard it, she suddenly came to her senses. She instantly turned her head to look at Suyi and nodded. Go. Go. Closing parenthesis quote. Wanda's urgent tone was heard. Suyi smiled, changed to holding the steering wheel with both hands, and then went in a dozen directions and went directly to the expressway. Sit tight. Then kick the accelerator down. Roar. The Ferrari V12 engine emits a low roar, like a lion's roar. Immediately afterwards, the entire crimson body began to speed up sharply. The front of the car was also raised a little because it was too fast. And Suyi and Wanda were both pressed on the seat by this fierce acceleration. Here it is, push back feeling. Oh. Wanda exclaimed, but was immediately replaced by excitement. She looked at Suyi's side face from time to time. Then turn your head and look at the road ahead. At this time, Suyi also accelerated while laughing, and that smile was different from a smile. Is a fierce and confident inside. A few minutes later, the fiery red Ferrari got off the highway. Then head to the Ferris wheel. Inside the car. Wanda's chest was constantly rising and falling because of the excitement. Although the fullness is hidden in the wide sweatshirt, it can still feel a little breathless. It's great. After taking a breath, Wanda looked at Suyi happily. It's so cool. All right. European and American girls are so direct and open. It is normal that such words can be said directly. And still in front of people with good feelings. And Suyi smiled and said very bluntly. That's what I'm driving this car for. If my co-pilot didn't have you, Wanda, I wouldn't want to drive this car. Wanda covered her lips in surprise. Then winked back with a smile. I trust you, Sue. Because you didn't want to drive when you went downstairs at first. Did you take the initiative to drive across the car after seeing my predicament? I found out. So you're a good man. In Europe and the United States, good men are not a derogatory term. And Wanda was born from a small place like Sokolja. The good man she said was definitely a good thing. And Suyi nodded happily and agreed after listening to it. You're right, Wanda. I, Suyi, accept your praise in the real name system. Hearing Suyi's cheeky answer. Wanda was shaking with laughter in the car. As Ferrari drove into the streets, it had to slow down. The surrounding pedestrians began to watch Suyi's car again. Wanda knows that this mirror is one way and can only see from the inside out. So she stuck to the car window to watch the street scene outside. Right at this moment. Ah. A. There are monsters. Lots of rats. Quote. Help me. Save me. Closing parenthesis quote. Moment. Wanda turned around and looked at Su Yi. Su Yi was sure. Something happened. Quote. And Wanda's hand hair is on the handlebar. She's an Avengers member. She's a superhero. And she's needed here. But before, two or three people acted together. And now she is alone. Wanda was a little overwhelmed. If she went alone, doing something wrong, what if it has a bigger impact? Will it be sprayed decommissioned? And Wanda's heart at this time was all perceived by Su Yi. Su Yi held the steering wheel with one hand and drove the car to the vicinity of the sound, holding Wanda's hand with the other hand and said. Don't worry, I'll go see with you. Wanda's eyes widened instantly when she heard this. She quickly said. Sue, you are a normal person. Quote. It's okay. Suyi parked the car on the side of the road, then got out of the car, opened Wanda's car door and stretched out his hand to invite. You need positive speech from society to heal your psyche. Only positive impact can make people's lives better. I am your psychologist, and it is my responsibility to help you out of your psychological predicament. Trust me. Me too, believe you. Look at the fleeing crowd around you. 
Wanda and Suyi held hands and rushed in the direction where the crowd fled. Wanda didn't even know what was wrong with her at this time. It seems to be with um. Of a sound. Wanda grabbed Suyi's hand and got out of the car as if holding on to hope. At this time, it is clear that he rushed to the scene. But Wanda's heart is on Suyi. It was all at the moment when Suyi stretched out his hand towards him just now. That moment. Let Wanda seem to see the warm sun that illuminates her heart. Rats. Lots of rats. Quote. Help. Help me. Quote. Then. A shout not far away brought Wanda back to her senses. At this time, Suyi had already brought Wanda to the edge of the scene. The two looked across the street. Then looked next to the sewers. Sure enough. Dozens of bucket-sized rats are coming out of underground pipes. And all kinds of reptiles and lizards. The usual size of this animal is scary enough. What's more, they are each the size of a bucket at this time. Some are about the same age as children. See this animal. Even Wanda was taken aback. She couldn't help but squeeze Suyi's hand. And Suyi turned around and said to Wanda. Listen to me, Wanda. These mutant animals can definitely kill, and they need you. Don't be afraid, use your magical ability to catch these animals, or cover them directly, just pinch them hard. You just have to remember to trap these rats like pincers. Wanda grabbed Suyi's hand, still a little nervous. Ah. At this time, a child was pounced on by a rat. And the mother of the child is looking for tools to save her child. But the rat's teeth were about to bite the kid's neck. Suyi's eyes flashed red. The mouse's pupils instantly dilated, and then rolled to the side. Suyi directly destroyed the mouse's brain in the air. And after the child pushes the mouse away. He immediately got up and ran to his mother's side. Ah. Then. Another man was pounced on by rats. But Suyi didn't care about it this time. He just shot because it was a child. Meanwhile. Natasha, who had just prepared to return to the base, received the notice. Mutant animal attack detected in New York's Elizabeth area. I'll be right there. Natasha, who received the notification from the base's intelligence system, immediately went to the area where Suyi and Wanda were at this time. And by the sea in Queens, New York. A girl wearing sports leggings made of black spandex and a white pink undershirt is squatting at the top of the building. Looking out over Elizabeth, I feel like there's a crisis going on there. Gwen sat on the edge of the building and muttered to herself. Then she thought about it. Go check it out. Finally, she put the pink and white spider hood in her hand on her head. Then shoot and pull with the spider silk transmitter on your wrist. Spider Gwen just swung away quickly between the building and the bridge. In the moonlight, her figure is more agile than other generations of Spider-Man. And the figure is also super top. It's like a female leopard with a curved body after tensing her body. Comma. Elizabeth District. After seeing the crowd being attacked by a rat swarm. Wanda also perked up and wanted to try to strike. Suyi stroked Wanda's cheek. Then looked into Wanda's eyes and encouraged easily. You can, believe in yourself, just catch that group of rats and beat them, it's much easier than saving people, trust me. Wanda nodded, then left Suyi's side and took a few steps forward. This is so conspicuous in the retreating crowd after a few steps. Someone saw Wanda come out. But I don't know who Wanda is. Followed by. Wanda stretched out her hands, and her unique use of magic gestures followed. And Scarlet Magical Energy also gathered in her hands. It's Scarlet Witch. At this moment, the crowd recognized Wanda. This unique gesture and special Scarlet Magic everyone knows who it is. Is she? So shall we keep running? Run. She will hurt us by mistake. Quote. Hear the words around you. Wanda was a little affected inside. She turned her head to look at Suyi behind her. And Suyi didn't move, still watching herself behind her. And Suyi also nodded. Indicate that you can, go ahead. Wanda nodded. Her hair fluttered in the air with magical abilities. And Wanda drives the chaos magic in her hands. She waved her hands. Crimson's ability to grab a group of rats instantly. And I caught several at once. But what to do next? Wanda hesitated a little. She continued to look back at Su Yi. And Su Yi did not make a sound. He just stretched out a hand into the air and squeezed it hard. Wanda nodded in understanding. Then she turned her head and learned Su Yi to hold it hard. Poof. Moment. 
Several rats in the air all exploded into a blood mist and disappeared. Under chaos magic. Mutant rats are not even younger brothers. It's good to be able to turn into a blood mist. No spirit disappears into nothingness. But Wanda also looked back excitedly and was surprised. Sue. I did it. Quote. Su Yi gave her a thumbs up. But he smiled and said helplessly. Wanda, can you stop looking at me and solve this group of mobs first? Quote. Wanda nodded shyly. I see. With Scarlet Witch, it's different after the shot. And the power of chaos is definitely easier to destroy than saving people. And the object is still mutant mice. Plus Su Yi encouraged himself behind him. Then this gives Wanda a strong self-confidence. Her hands danced, and Scarlet Chaos magic sprang up around her. The position of energy is powerful. The surroundings are as if there is no wind automatically. Wanda held it with one hand. A cloud of scarlet abilities immediately wrapped a group of rats. Then she shook her other hand again. Poof. The rats immediately exploded into a blood mist. This is how Wanda began the heroic operation of catching mice. All the rats were pinched into a blood mist under Wanda's magic. This also makes Wanda more and more confident. Look. It's Scarlet Witch. Quote. It was Scarlet Witch who saved us. It was Scarlet Witch who saved us. Quote. Wanda's actions quickly cleared a rat colony. Then after reacting, the crowd found that it was Wanda who did it. They immediately shouted out in surprise. This time Wanda was much more comfortable after hearing it in her ears. Wanda turned around and winked at Su Yi. Su Yi waved her hand and told her to hurry up and work, don't look at herself. But right now, poof, another manhole cover was lifted by a group of rats. Then a large group of rats came out of the hole and still towards Wanda. Buzz. Wanda quickly danced her hands. Poof. Then pinched the newly arrived rat colony. But this also made Wanda start to be a little busy. Because there are already several manhole covers coming out mutating rats. Sue. What am I going to do? Quote. At this time, Wanda was so anxious that she couldn't even turn her head, so she could only turn her back to Suyi and ask. Suyi was still thinking. Do you want to secretly intervene to prevent this disaster? He's already figured it out. If you do it yourself. Then collapse all the underground pipes at once, so that it seems that too many mutant mice have made it themselves. And mice can also solve it together. So you kill two birds with one stone. Yet, in Su Yi's induction, a man dangled from between the tall buildings. He telepathized. It turned out to be Gwen. And it's Gwen in the original spider suit. Spider-Gwen is not the same as Spider-Man. At the beginning, Spider-Man appeared wearing clothes sewn from fabric. But Gwen isn't just smarter. Her family is even better. Her father was the commissioner of the New York Police Department. So Gwen's first spider suit was made from the fabric of an international athlete's outfit. Fit and tough. That is, the set is black below the waist, white above the waist, the mask is mainly white, pink lines, and also wears a spider suit with a white exterior but a pink hood inside. This is Gwen's exclusive suit. No other Spider-Man has. That's it. Spider-Gwen hangs on the glass wall of a building and looks at Su Yi. Gwen's eyes swept across the crowd. Mutant rats, crowds, Scarlet Witch, Su Yi. Wait, Su Yi. Gwen was startled in her heart and immediately stared at Su Yi. Now she found out that Su Yi was standing behind the Scarlet Witch, and it was near the well where the mutant mouse appeared. And Scarlet Witch because there are too many rats. It's already a little unsupportable. If only Scarlet Witch couldn't hold it. What about Su Yi behind her? No, I have to help her. Gwen stretched out his hand and shot, and the white spider silk immediately shot forward. Immediately afterwards, she dragged the spider silk to Su Yi's place. And Scarlet Witch here. Wanda can crush the mice in several manhole covers is already very difficult. By now she has killed hundreds of mice. But, poof. As the surrounding manhole cover lifts again. More rats are coming out of the perimeter. It's over. Run. The surrounding crowd immediately became enlightened as soon as they saw the form. Wanda also looked solemn, and turned around to let Su Yi go first. Su. You go first. Quote. And Su Yi's eyes gestured to the side and pointed to the building on the side. Wanda turned her head. Phew. Gwen came from the middle of the road with spider silk. She shot her hands in the air. Poof. Poof. 
Then stick to the two large manhole covers and throw them forward with force. Boom. Time. Two large manhole covers knocked dozens of mice flying. Suyi saw a mouse just fly into the trash. Two mice slapped on billboards and became paste. And the rest are lying in the ground. Mutant mouse. Rat. Mouse. I'm going to send mud today. And Wanda sees the timing. She quickly danced her hands and used chaotic power to control the rats in other places. Then a pinch with one hand. Poof. Watch the rats being pinched into a cloud of blood mist. Spider Gwen stood on the roof of the car in a tight spider suit and said in surprise to Wanda. Your magic is amazing. And after getting this group of rats, it can still be so clean. After the incident is resolved. Suyi didn't expect Wanda to suddenly hug herself. Then he didn't expect it. Even if he said what he just said. Wanda did not let go, but hugged tighter. Ah this. Suyi was a little confused. But then, he felt that Wanda's mood was a little wrong. It was like a new life. Excited, excited, grateful, emotional emotions. Suyi first took Wanda to a corner where no one was. Then lowered his head and looked at Wanda buried in his chest and asked easily. Wanda, you. Suyi hadn't finished speaking. Wanda looked up and pressed up. The heads of the two were pressed together, making a slight sound of water. Until. Until the dripping of police cars came nearby. In the dark corner, the two separated with a bang. There is clearly no light here. But the eyes of the two seemed to burn with fire. Wanda was panting from a bit of a lack of oxygen. Suyi reached out and touched her face and wiped the corners of her mouth with her clothes. Then said softly and slowly. It's still a long time, and there's still a lot of time ahead. We should go out, Miss Witch. Wanda touched Suyi's big hand covering her cheek and nodded. Hem. Off the street. Several police cars were parked behind the incident. Agent Natasha and NYPD Commissioner George Stacy, Gwenstasi's father, got out of the car. Natasha walked over to several manhole covers. She looked at the mutant rat carcasses around her and the car pressed against the manhole cover and wondered. Who solved it? What about people? George Stacy looked around. Then, together with several police officers, he investigated the surrounding citizens. Then he came back and said to Natasha. Agent Romanov, a spider lady who shoots spider silk and wears a straitjacket, solved it with a lady who can use scarlet magical abilities. Lady Spider doesn't know who it is for the time being. But the lady who uses magic seems to be the Scarlet Witch in Superheroes. George's words made Natasha's eyes narrow. Scarlet Witch. Natasha watched Su Yi go to send Wanda home. Can you come back here when you go home? And she actually solved things with a strange superpower. This is still the Scarlet Witch they usually see. Just a moment in Natasha's thoughts. Wanda and Su Yi walked out from the side. Natasha. Wanda stopped Natasha as she walked over and said, the matter has been solved, but the mutant rat swarm is still under the manhole cover, so we have to call someone to deal with it quickly. Quote. Natasha looked at Su Yi, who came out with Wanda. Then nodded towards Wanda and said, I have contacted agents and police to assist with this incident. It's just that you need to confirm the process of things. Wanda nodded and came to Natasha and said to the police officer who turned on the body camera. As soon as I arrived in the vicinity in a car, I heard the panicked screams of the crowd, so I hurried over. Wanda said things from start to finish. But in order not to involve Su Yi. So the whole text did not mention a single thing about Su Yi. Su Yi nodded in his heart when he heard it, and gave Wanda a thumbs up. Then wait for Wanda to come to the end. That is, after Lady Spider left. She explained that she was going to the neighborhood to observe if there were any extra mutant mice. Instead of going to the corner and Su Yibo mouth, no, this sentence did not say, this sentence is Wanda's heart. Wait until the before and after of the event is said. George Stacy cops went about their business. Natasha asked as she walked directly to the side with Wanda. Who is that spider lady? Wanda shook her head. I don't know. Quote. Natasha. Quote. She joined out of nowhere. Wanda explains. I was halfway through cleaning when there were suddenly more rats again. Quote. Then she joined the team and worked with me to clean up all the mutant rats. When she finally saw that the police car was about to arrive, she shot the spider silk and left. Here Wanda's explanation. Natasha nodded and guessed. 
Maybe there is another superpower in New York, and I will tell Tony to let him use technology to find out who it is. Wanda nodded, but it was none of her business. At this time, Wanda turned her head and looked at Su Yi on the side, and then looked back at Natasha and said. Can I go? Natasha looked at Wanda, and then at Su Yi, who was watching the play not far away. Finally said to Wanda. What happened today is not small, and the New York News has already reported on it. If you can, you'd better be able to act with us. But I won't force you, Wanda. You can decide your choice as you like. Then Natasha said all these words. Wanda also knows that something is wrong, and it is better for superheroes to be stable for the time being. So Wanda nodded in disappointment, looked at Suyi not far away, and said to Natasha. Then I'll go talk to Sue and come back later. Natasha. No, you're a superhero Wanda. Isn't the state of a little girl like you a little like a superhero? After leaving Natasha, Wanda walked in front of Su Yi and said with a smile on his lips and deliberately regretted. Sue, our Ferris wheel is gone. Look at Wanda's affectionate eyes. Su Yi could feel the expectation and enthusiasm in her heart. If you don't understand what she means, then you don't understand a woman's heart. So it doesn't matter to the stall hands. It's okay, I said there is a lot of time in the future. If you can't do it today, you can do it tomorrow, if you can't do it tomorrow, you can do it next week, as long as you come to me. Yes, you have to come to me. It was impossible for Su Yi to take the initiative to find Wanda. No matter how good he sounds, there are still priorities. But Wanda doesn't care about that. She heard the answer she wanted. You can take the initiative to come to Su Yi. So Wanda blinked her charming eyes. He said after facing Su Yi wink a few times. That's all right. I have to go to Natasha first and report back to the mission. See you another day. After saying goodbye, Wanda turned away and walked towards Natasha, who was looking over. And Su Yi looked at Wanda's back, and then nodded to Natasha, who was watching her. He turned and left. Back at Ferrari, opened the supercar door and pressed the ignition button. Buzz. With the engine roaring, Su Yi drove the car and left. On the sidelines, Wanda and Natasha watched Su Yi leave together. Then Natasha said side by side. This gentleman looks good, and I heard that he insists on being by your side to support and encourage you in times of crisis. Hmm. After without Su Yi, the smile on Wanda's face gradually disappeared. She didn't even feel the change in herself, let alone her current state and so on. Wanda just snorted monotonously. Then replied to Natasha more coldly. He's a good man, Sigma. Sigma. Natasha nodded on the surface, but her heart was puzzled. Even as an agent, she didn't know what Sigma meant. Is this word used to describe men? Finally, after Natasha and Wanda returned to the Avengers base, Natasha found out with a smart lookup. This is a new internet word in the United States. Sigma. It means to be independent, self-disciplined, excellent, and respectful of all people. In the beginning, the word was used to describe lone wolves, or otaku men. But slowly it turned into a word that stands for excellence. Its Chinese translation is sigma. It is also called by a symbol, an airy summation. All right. Natasha was also curious after thinking about it. How attractive is that psychiatrist named Su Yi? This captures Wanda. Would you like to see it yourself? What exactly is going on? Meanwhile, it's 10.30 p.m. The scene of the mutant rat incident. Although Gwen Stacy dragged the spider silk away, she didn't go far, just observed what her father was doing at the edge of the tall building. In her gaze, George Stacy and an agent get out of the police car. Then after investigating the surrounding crowd, Wanda and Su Yi also walked out from the side. Then everyone talked. In the end, Su Yi left first, and Wanda and Natasha left later. And his father after investigating the matter. He arranged for police officers to solve these problems and sent people to guard the well. Only then did he drive the police home. Gwen saw that daddy was coming home. Poof. She also immediately pulled the spider silk and went home. Then he went through the window to his bedroom a little earlier. Then immediately change your clothes and hide under the covers. A moment later. Bang bang. Gwen's door was knocked on by George. Huh. Gwen made a sleepy-eyed, hazy nasal sound. It's okay Gwen. George's voice came from the doorway. Let me remind you not to forget tomorrow's band performance. Quote. After saying that, 
George left. And Gwen sat up again. She immediately went to the computer and searched for the mutant mouse incident again. Scarlet Witch saves a large number of citizens. She uses powerful magic to pinch all the rats. Close black lens bracket. Who is she? Spider Lady. New superheroes. We need to get to know you Spider Woman. Close black lens bracket. Scarlet Witch is suspected of being in love. Hug a handsome man after the war. No. Scarlet Witch. You can't be in love. Close black lens bracket. Friends. Scarlet Witch is a hero of war. That's why she accidentally injured the citizens before. We should be tolerant of her. She can destroy enemies. And not like other superheroes who only accidentally injure our property. Close black lens bracket. Everyone wake up. This must have been performed by Scarlet Witch. This is fake. Don't believe it. Close black lens bracket. Woo. Gwen exclaimed as she watched. She didn't expect it either. A mutant mouse incident. Scarlet Witch's online reviews were actually reversed by half. Is this the credit of Su Yi? Gwen thought about it, it definitely matters. However, Lady Spider. Spider Woman. Quote. Gwen raised her delicate little chin for a moment and shook her head. It's not good. You should call me a ghost spider. Thanks for watching.